Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test and set up the ignition pulse generator. This is on a Honda EU 2000i. If you came to this video, A, you either want to know how to set this up properly because there is an air gap, or B, you are suffering a no start condition and you need to try to figure out what is wrong. So the first thing we got to do is find the screws, set this in place. And then you got to set the air gap between here and that notch on the flywheel. So I got the generator. I'm going to very carefully slip it into place right there. Put the two screws in ever so carefully. They are an eight millimeter bolt. I'm just going to spin them and loosely by hand gonna be kind of hard to see but like I said you line that up right in the center and then we're gonna get our feeler gauge so as it turns out the air gap is pretty forgiving it's anywhere between 0 0.008 to 0 0.028 so what I'm gonna do because it kind of sits in a groove there really is nowhere that you can move it we're going to tighten it down and check the air gap yeah i questioned that before actually about the air gap because this pulse generator sits in a groove so as it turns out mine is a 0 0.018 well within spec it fits in there nice and snug. So we know the pulse generator is in spec. I need to get my multimeter out and we're going to measure the resistance. Anytime you're working on electronics and you need to find resistance values, it's good to have a good meter and not a cheap one. So with any multimeter, before you do any kind of testing, you want to zero it out. Because right now that would give me a huge variance so zero to meter now I'm good to go so now what you gotta do is remove this blue terminal from the pulse generator and you want to put one lead on there one lead on the bolt and you want to see between roughly 300 and 360 ohms so one in the lead 314 0.5 the resistance value is very good. The ignition pulse generator has no issues. So one on the lead, 314.5. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that short video on how to set up and check the ignition pulse generator. If you went through that test, and of course your Honda EU 2000i does not start. Do not worry. There will be other videos posted to troubleshoot other things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.